What are the widest wide-body passenger planes? Most people would correctly guess that the A380 is the widest passenger aircraft currently flying. It's also the heaviest, but not the longest. But what about the others? It can be hard to tell. We take a quick look at the five widest passenger aircraft ever built. For clarity, a wide body is any aircraft wide enough to offer two passenger aisles. The wide body era began in 1970 with the introduction of the Boeing 747, and we've seen many developments since then. Originally only quad jets, there are now many twin jet wide bodies. We focus here though on the external size of these aircraft and rank the top five by width. In particular, this is based on full fuselage external width with data as recorded by Wikipedia. Of course, the widest aircraft is the Airbus A380. It has a width of 7.14 meters, over 0.6 meters wider than its closest rival. It's the largest passenger aircraft ever built, with a maximum takeoff weight of 575 tons and an empty weight of 277 tons. Stretched longer versions of the A380, though not wider, were planned but have not been developed. The A380 entered service in 2007 with Singapore Airlines. There have been 251 aircraft ordered, with 242 delivered. Airlines have struggled with the size, though. The economics and logistics of operating such a large aircraft have led to a decrease in interest, and production will end when current orders are delivered. With the shift to lower-capacity twin-engine wide bodies that's currently seen, it seems unlikely there'll be a wider Challenger developed anytime soon. In second place is the Boeing 747. This has a width of 6.5 meters and an internal cabin width of 6.08 meters. The 747 is the original, first developed wide body and one of the most iconic aircraft ever built. It has seen several variants since the launch of the original 747-100 in 1970. There have been increases in length, with the new 747-8 being the longest wide body in service, currently at 76.25 meters. It'll be just beaten by the 777X. But all variants share the same fuselage design and width. The older 747s are currently in the later stages of retirement, with British Airways still operating the largest fleet. But the new 747-8 variant will remain in production, mainly as a freighter version, but also in passenger service. With a width of 6.19 meters, the Boeing 777 is the third widest wide-body aircraft. The 777 has been Boeing's most successful wide-body, with 1,831 aircraft delivered to date, according to Boeing data. It first flew in 1995 with United Airlines, designed as a smaller alternative to the 747 with the replacement of the popular DC-10 aircraft in mind. There have been several variants since the original 777-200, with the latest family member being the new 777X. All of these have shared the same fuselage design and width, although length has varied. The new 777X will be the longest passenger wide body developed. The 7779 has a length of 76.9 meters. Interestingly, although fuselage width is the same on the 777 and 777X, the 777X has a slightly larger interior cabin width. An extra approximately 10 centimeters has been added through thinner cabin walls and better insulation. For the fourth widest wide body, we step away from the current Airbus and Boeing main players. The Russian designed and built Ilyushin 86 wide body quad jet comes in at a width of 6.08 meters. The Ilyushin 86 was developed by the USSR through the late 1960s and early 1970s. It entered service in 1976 and flew mainly with Russian airline Aeroflot. Of the 106 aircraft built, only three were exported outside Russia. It currently still operates, but only with the Russian Air Force. The Ilyushin 96 is a shortened version of the Ilyushin 86 with a longer range. It first flew in 1988 and is still in production in Russia. There are still 15 in service in Russia and with Cuban airline Cubana. And number five, Lockheed L1011 TriStar. The L1011 TriStar is a trijet, three-engined wide-body developed by American manufacturer Lockheed Corporation. It was the third wide-body aircraft to enter service after the Boeing 747 and the DC-10 in 1972. There were 250 TriStar aircraft built, operated by airlines around the world. Most were retired during the 1990s, though some flew into the early 2000s. Only one aircraft remains in service. It's used by U.S. aerospace company Northrop Grumman for satellite launches, where it's known as the Stargazer. 
Other three-engine jets of the same area, the McDonnell Douglas DC-10 and the later MD-11, are almost the same width as well. Externally, they're all within one to two centimetres of each other, but the TriStar has managed a slightly wider interior cabin. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.